Alright, in this video, continuing on on a series of Catching the Cookie Thief, I'm going to show you how you can capture a video in Python using your Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi brand camera. So the first thing you're going to want to do, um, this is this is building upon the last video on taking a picture, so I'm assuming you already have the uh, Python 3 camera files installed and, and all that. So opening up idle 3 you're gonna to wanna to open up a new window because we're gonna write another script here and we're gonna save our script in our desktop cookie folder and it's gonna be called cookievideo.py alright cool so we got cookievideo.py and the first thing we're gonna to need to do is import pi camera and this allows us to set up the camera uh, and we're going to set up our camera by saying with pi camera dot pi camera as camera. Now we can do things with our camera. So set up the camera. That's what this does. Okay, so if we want to record something with our camera, we're going to use the command camera dot start recording pretty simple to understand and the file path that you specify in the brackets here is where you want to have it saved. Now I'll have it saved in the root cookie folder which happens to be where our cookie video pi video is so I will say our, our video will be called python video h264 great so that's that's how uh, the camera saves its files as a .h264 format. Now we could say now, if, if we wanted to, camera stop recording, but the problem with doing this is how long is our video going to be? It's going to be practically no time at all, and if we want to shoot for any length of time, we're going to want to sleep the script so that it can continue recording for a while. And the way we do that is by importing from the module called time, uh, from time, import sleep. Sleep. Okay? And in between when we... Whoops. In between when we start recording and stop recording, we're going to sleep. And how long do you want your movie to be? Do you want it to be 5 seconds, 10 seconds? I don't know. So let's let's just sleep for 5 seconds here. We're going to then stop recording. Now, let's save this. And let's give it a run. Okay, red light is on. Hello, wave at the camera. 5 second recording. Ooh. Okay, cool. So now we are presumably done. Um... I'm not going to try and view this video on through my VNC connection. You can see how slow it is just trying to move a window around. So instead what I'm going to do is on my Mac here, we can see Python video dot H264. I'm connected to it over the network and I should be able to stream it directly here. Now the problem is, is this dot H264 format, you kind of go, what the heck, right? Like what is this? What do I open this with? Well, VLC is an amazing program that if you haven't heard of it you should go get it. It allows you to play everything and I'll demonstrate what I mean. Right now if I open this up in VLC it should play. There we go. So we see, oh look, me waving my hand and stuff like that and talking away. Okay, that's cool. Um, now the issue is, is if I try and open this up with something other than VLC, let's say Windows Media Player if I was on uh, on a Windows machine, or let's say QuickTime, which is what comes default on a Mac, I open this up and I'm going to get an error because it doesn't know what to do with H.264. Uh, VLC does, but not everybody has VLC, not everybody wants to view movies with VLC, so we want to convert this. And a common file format for a video out is .mp4. And how do we go about converting to .mp4? Well, it's and going to involve downloading a new package. Now I assume you've already um, updated your Raspberry Pi by saying sudo apt get update. I'm not going to go through that again because we did that in the last video. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install a new package using sudo apt get install and it is called gpack. So download that. Alright, after that's downloaded, I'm just going to clear the screen, clean it up a bit. Uh, what you can do is uh, let, let's navigate in our terminal here to our cookie directory. If 
we take a look, we see that we have our Python video dot h264. What this package that we just downloaded allows us to do is execute a command called mp4 box. And what this package allows you to do is to convert between file formats. So we're going to add into the package Python video dot h264. And what we're going to output is a converted video, something that's been converted to mp4. And we're going to call it converted video dot mp4. Hit enter. Boom. Done. Whew, that was quick. It's only a five second video, but done. Um, if we go back here, and let, let's just refresh our, our cookie, we see converted video dot mp4. Now I, I can open that with VLC. And there we go, hand waving all that, it looks about the same. You're going to of course have some loss because you're converting file formats. But for what we're doing, it doesn't really matter, I can even open it up in QuickTime and as you can see QuickTime plays it just fine. So that's how you convert a file um, on the Raspberry Pi using the Raspberry Pi for a video stream. Now it's a little inconvenient if you, if you have a program set up that let's say just films something periodically like somebody walks past a motion sensor or whatever uh, to convert each individual file by hand like this is a little ridiculous. We're, n we're not going to want to do type this in every time so of course we have a computer here. Let's use the computer to do the work, right? So we've set up the camera. Uh, I, I should comment this a bit better. So start recording, it should be obvious, and then stop recording. So we have the camera is now closed. And now what we're gonna want to do is convert to something else. So we're gonna say, print, we are going to convert the video. And the way you're going to do this is you're, you're going to use Python to call that command that we just wrote, you're going to use Python to call the Linux command. And the way you do that is you're going to have to import a new package. And this package is called or a, a new function, you're going to have to import this new function from a module called subprocess. So from subprocess, we're going to import call. And down here, we're going to specify what our command is. So uh, define the command we want to execute. And our command is going to be equal to just like what I wrote here. So we so we wrote mp4 box, add Python video, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. So our command is going to be mp4 box, add Python video, because it's being saved in the same folder as where we're executing the script, which worked just fine. We add that and we're going to save it as a converted video dot mp4. That's our command. And now that we've defined what the command is, we're going to execute our command. And we're going to use that uh, function we uh, imported called call, and we're going to pass into it our command. And then after that type shell equals true bracket uh, video converted, I guess. Actually, it'd be better if we say print video converted. All right, cool. Now I'm going to save this, I'm going to go into the cookie folder, and I'm going to delete converted video, and I'm going to delete uh, Python video. If you start overwriting those files with Python, sometimes it you, you get some weird bugs in it. So I'm just going to delete it so we have no files in there that are by these names. And then we're going to execute our Python script. Oh, we're, we're filming, by the way. Yes, talking, waving hands, all that. Uh, okay, there we go. Video, video converted. Boom, that quickly, right? And so that's, that's how you can get the Python uh, script to automatically convert the video for you. Uh, going back to our desktop, we should see, just refreshing the folder, we should see converted video.mp4. If I open this with VLC, 
we see me waiting and then waving hand and talking. It's different from what it was before. So because we deleted it, right? So this is a new file. So there you go. That's how you can get your Python script to automatically save your movie as a .mp4 file. Now in my next video, I'm going to show you how you can take a picture in Python and then date stamp it because if we're going to catch our criminal, we're going to want proof like a, a timestamp on our photo so that when we pass it to the judge or the lawyer or whatever, they can go, ah, uh, yes, we, we see here that it was Friday at 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock in the morning, we, we captured our cookie thief. And, and so we're going to want that timestamp there. Or let's say you're taking readings of temperature or whatever, and you want to post that on your picture, you can extrapolate it to that. So I'll show you how to do that in the next video.